All right, I'm gonna go over some tips for the salmon stage. Everything going on with the salmon stage and at Olcott and all the places near the Miles of Lake Ontario tributaries. I wasn't gonna make a video. I went Saturday, I hooked five, had five hits or so. I had one fish I should have had in the net. The net guy accidentally hooked the lure and pulled it out of the mouth, but that's all right, that happens. Went the next day, I hooked two. They both took off and crossed people's lines. So we're gonna go over some of the lures that are the best for the salmon during the stage. In my opinion, the number one lure for staging king salmon is without a doubt a rattle trap. You can see the paint taken off of this one from a real big thing I had last year. There's something about rattle traps that really anticipates, I don't know, the anger or frustration of a fish, but anyways, they can't stand it. It's a really, really good bait. I hook up with a lot more fish on the pier. Haven't landed any, but I hook up with a lot more fish on the pier than people. Um, they work great in murky water. They work great in really rough conditions, and even when the lake's really calm, they work really good as well. That's by far the number one lure in my opinion. And then of course you have your J13s. These are good. You'll see a lot of people using these. These are really good as well. And then you have your glow spoons. Glow spoons are good. They're really good at night. Sometimes they work during the day. I don't like to use them as much because everybody uses glow spoons and I like to change it up and give the fish something else that they could hit. And then you have, you know, your half and blue or regular silver spoons. I like the smaller ones for steelhead and brown trout, so I like to use those if the salmon fishing is a little bit slow. And then every now and then I'll have some luck on some of these big size 5 Vibrax spinners, the blue fox ones. And that's basically just about all I use. I'm going to try some crankbaits, some other stick baits. I think they'll work pretty good, but that's basically all I use. And as tips for fishing off the pier, 99% of the fish I have hit super, super close to the pier. What I think happens is anglers, um, it happens to everyone else that's fishing there as well. They get super antsy for their next cast. They see fish jumping up, so they hurry up, they crank in their lure, and I think that's what really triggers the fish to bite. And they hit super fast. You gotta set the hook really fast on them and uh, get it in their mouth real good. But basically, I think a fast retrieval on rattle traps, like for the most part, is the best lure. So here's the film of the big salmon that I ended up hooking that I should have landed, but unfortunately I didn't. I'm gonna to try to get out Saturday morning for these guys, maybe even some trout. Yeah. 